Hey everyone, this is a video. This is video number two in our series on hypnotic age regression, regression to cause. And in this video, I wanna have Mike Mandel, the founder of MikeMandelHypnosis.com, I wanna have him explain what the heck is an initial sensitizing event, why does it matter, and how do we help take a client back to that initial sensitizing event when we're doing regression to cause? Great mm. questions, Chris. First of all, what is an ISE, an initial sensitizing event? When someone has something traumatic in their life, let's say they have a terrifying spider phobia. They look at a spider and they freak <laughs> out. The method is to regress them to the initial sensitizing event. In other words, some point in their past, something happened that something. built a platform that the phobia began upon. It, and it wasn't necessarily a spider. No, in fact, I dealt with a client who had a spider phobia and it all started at ISE was her brother put a plastic centipede down her top or something like that. Then later a spider scared her, bingo, she's got a phobia. Now the reason this is important is we have the initial sensitizing event, the start of the whole thing, the platform that builds it. And we also have an activating event. And an activating event is what triggers it and turns it into a phobia, a trauma, whatever it is. Sometimes the ISE and the activating event are the same. Same. And sometimes can, not, And right? sometimes they're not. Mm -hmm. Most of the time I'd say they're probably not. If we don't get right to the ISE and we only get to the activating event and have the person talk it through, clear it, cry, whatever it is, we won't clear it completely. And that's what happened in the early days of, reg of regression uh, therapy. People were only going back to the activating event. You have to go back beyond that. Well, how are you going to get there in the first yeah. place? And, and quick metaphor here. It's sort of like if you find a dandelion in your backyard and you just pull the, the stem. Well, if you don't get to the roots, the thing just grows back. Right? That's really mm -hmm. good. So think about this. We have to get to that initial sensitizing event. And the two main methods we use are the effect bridge and the somatic bridge. And there's a third one I'll mention as well. The effect bridge. Affect, in a, affect not yes. effect, With correct grammar here, affect, affect bridge. bridge. That is the emotion, the negative emotion tied to the event. So if so, I'm scared of spiders, it's the feeling of that fear of right. seeing this spider or whatever it we is. We want the person feeling that again, knowing that you're going to clear it. So you have the person in trance, you've deepened the trance and you say, I want you to feel that fear of spiders. I don't, you know, not I want you to think about it. I want you to feel, feel it, it in your body. Mm -hmm. And you can push it as high as you can. Now you're making this very, very powerful and say, now I'd like your unconscious mind to take you back to the very first time you felt that emotion. And that will take you often right to the ISE. When they nod that they're there, mm -hmm. you can ask, is that the first one or is there an even earlier? And when you stop, you've got the first event, you can then use one of the processes we'll show and clear it completely. Okay. That's following affect, which is emotion. So you're getting them to feel the actual feeling, possibly even, usually, asking them to dial that feeling up even higher, subjective units of distress, Right. then to follow that feeling back, allow their unconscious mind to follow that feeling back to the very first time they felt it. When they get there and nod or whatever, we're checking in with them, is that the first time or, or is, is there, there an, an even, even earlier, earlier one? Right. And then eventually, bottom out, you'll know you're at the ISC. Okay. Right, and then another way you can do it, it's a somatic bridge, which is a symptom. Say they have a symptom like a nervous tick or gagging or something like that, you have them tune into that symptom and follow that back to the first time they had okay, it. Okay, so that could be a stutter, for example. That absolutely, could be, it could. Mm, okay, I that said could be getting, ding. no, ding, ring the bell. That could be getting, getting choked up and not knowing what to say, having that yes, throat exactly. closing feeling. All of these things, you can get to them with either mm -hmm. the affect bridge or the somatic bridge. Now, there's a third one that's also very useful. This is just direct suggestion. You might say something like, and you can see all the events of your past, like, De uh, you know, decks of, a deck of cards with all the different scenes flying by you and your brain will take you to the very card that shows the event where this all happened. Or you can be walking down a tunnel or flying down a tunnel with all doors and your unconscious mind will take you to the door of the very first event. And when you open it, you will see that. It's so sort so, of a combination of direct suggestion and metaphor. Yes, a mm. bit of visualization okay. there perhaps, but you can get them to it. And again, if you don't get to the initial size, it's sensitizing event, the ISE, you will not be able to clear it. If you get there, bingo, you're off to the races. All right, so we're gonna get someone to their initial sensitizing event so we can clear problems from their past. So that is 
the next step in hypnotic age regression or regression to cause. All right, in the next video, we'll talk about ab reaction. We'll make sure the links are in the description. While you're here, click the subscribe button so you're always subscribed to our videos from Mike Mandel Hypnosis. I'm Chris Thompson. This is Mike Mandel. Hello. Once you click that subscribe button, there's a bell for you to ring, which it's will, oh, let's make it louder. Loud bell so that you'll always be notified of our next videos. See you again in the next one. Thanks, Thanks again, again. And, and good, good night. night.